Hello. So I see you opened a business in our neighborhood, Garment District. Listen, Junge, you're more than welcome here, but really remember who owns this neighborhood. So don't get any big ideas. Tschüss. Whoa! She's just gonna throw it down, huh? All right. Hey! Uh, welcome back to Big Ambitions. Uh, this is the rival update, and apparently one of my rivals has something to say about me opening up business in her neighborhood. So, Ingrid is someone we're going to have to deal with, apparently. Uh, let's head over. She's in ninth place on the leaderboard here. And uh, you can see she's got this little icon next to her name now. Interesting. So if I click this, it shows me all the correspondence we've had throughout the course of our time together. Okay, so there's rivals. Uh, yeah, we have an extra tab now for our contacts list as well. Interesting. All right, well, that's a thing. We're going to have to deal with her in this district. Now... I don't think it's, it's going to be a bit before we really have to deal with her. Um, so I, I don't think it'll be a huge problem yet. We're at the General U.S. Trucks dealership, if you will. Um, we have almost $12,000 in the bank because I made thirty-two fifty-one yesterday and I've, I, I played it a couple of days, right? Now, if I was to open my business manager, we can see that today we are going to be closed. I've closed the business today so that I could get a chance to come out, get my car, figure out all the little things that I want to do. And uh, I just need time to do those things. So we're going to close on Saturday. We'll reopen on Sunday. So these are the UMC deserts. These are the, the trucks I'm going to be end up going with. Now, these ones here are obviously a big old freight trucks. And uh, these ones here are 98,000 a piece. So we're not going to be buying the gigantic trucks. And that's good. We don't want the gigantic trucks. What we want is one of these. And I think I'm going to buy a red one. Yeah, we're going to get a red one. Uh, we can change the color to anything we want here. But I'm going to go with the red one here. We get cargo capacity is 14, tank capacity 140. This one does not support auto parking. I think I'll be fine. And it has a max speed of 50. So we're going to buy this. So there's our new vehicle. Mm -hmm. It's not exactly a hot rod, but it's going to come in handy. I guarantee it. All right. Now we don't have to walk everywhere. Ah, oh, it's going to be so good not to have to walk everywhere, right? Let's head around the building. And our vehicle is parked. Go ahead and get that off of my destinations. Our vehicle is parked right here. And here we go. We got ourselves a radio. Okay. Uh, we'll just go on rock radio, I guess, for now. Uh, so at the moment, we are illegally parked. We can't stand here. We can't just leave our vehicle here. Uh, once you get in the vehicle, you take possession of it, then you do have to pay attention to your parking spaces. Uh, but we are now on this road, and I am going to whip a UE. Yeah, I'm going to go over. We're going to get some more product. We're going to bring some more product to our store here. So real quick, just going to drive on over here. And you know what? Like The speed that this thing can go... I remember it being faster. The handling of all the vehicles and stuff has changed in this version of the game. Uh, all the updates and stuff. And remember, uh, this wasn't a thing when we first played it, but, or at least it wasn't a thing right when we first played it. I'm not sure why those vehicles are stopped, but okay. Um, the uh, damages and stuff, right? You have to repair your vehicle. You can take damage. You have to repair. You have to get fuel. All that stuff is in the game too. So. Need to keep an eye on all of that so let's enter and we can enter our business here or we can enter this warehouse with the van which is pretty nice so i'm gonna head over uh over here is where i want to be yeah burgers and pizzas and stuff right so i want to get a little bit more stock on the hamburgers and pizzas or the ham yeah hamburgers and hot dogs man i am this is gonna be a bad day for me guys all right um i'm not speaking well today it's just the way it goes. So this has a 14 item capacity. Now we can't buy 14 boxes of this. We just simply don't have the money to do that. But I can just go in and just add a whole bunch of these things to my my van here. All right, that's eight. We're going to sell more hot dogs than burgers anyway, so that's fine. We'll go ahead and grab the burgers too. And I think I'm probably over my, my budget here actually. So let me just get in. 2100. Okay, I've got more that I can buy. So let's go ahead and park really quick. Now I could have done the, I could have got the hand carts and stuff, but since I can pull the van really close to these things, I just kind of don't care. All right, that's all I can have there. So we'll just put that back on the shelf. 
All right, so we're gonna get a full stock of hamburgers and and uh, hot dogs and stuff, and we're at thirty four seventy four as our total. Brilliant. Let's go ahead and just order it and buy it. Nice little drive through here. We're left with four hundred thirty six dollars remaining in our account, but now instead of having to take a hand cart all the way over to the to our business, what probably should go the right direction on the street. There we go. Uh, instead of having to do that, we can now use the vehicle. Uh, all right, so our business is way over here. Got to make sure that that's my destination. After a while, I don't need the navigation. I'll just kind of know where my stuff is. Man, this this van, they have definitely tweaked how vehicles work, which I, I kind of welcome it. Like, this is the maximum speed this thing can go. So we can't just go blazing through the whole place anymore with these vehicles. And I mean, again, <laughs> well, I can run red lights, though. Um, you can't just go, you know, blazing through everything anymore with these vehicles. And that's and that's kind of cool because it means that the faster vehicles are actually faster as opposed to really having no practical difference in speed. I mean, there was always a practical difference in quickness. The top speed didn't really change. And now it looks like it's going to. That's going to be great. I wonder if I can buy one of those pickup trucks be cool to I don't I wonder what the capacity is for a pickup truck as opposed to one of these vans anyway there's my business so I'm just gonna park myself right over here that's fine this is technically illegal but in this game it's free and this game it's legal but it's illegal parking uh in the real world there uh we're gonna go ahead and grab our hand cart and uh it's back here yep there it is grab our hand cart it's kind of come on out here and we're gonna restock all of our shelves with uh, all the stuff that's in the back. So let's just go ahead and grab a bunch of hot dogs and I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna go unload back and forth here to try to load our shelves and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found a parking spot right close to my place. That's one of the downsides of having your own cars. You have to find parking spaces and we are parking. Okay, so again, for the game, technically legally, but uh, we're gonna park on the wrong side of the road again. Uh, and we're just gonna be here. I went to the wholesaler one more time to grab some paper bags because we are getting a little low in the store. Uh, so that leaves us with $292 and that's it. Um, now we didn't make any money today because the store wasn't open today. So all of our rent and stuff is going to trickle in. And, uh, when that does trickle in, it will probably put us around a hundred bucks. I don't know exactly know how much that rent is, but we're going to see, um, let's go ahead and go to, I don't know, let's say eight. We can probably go. I want to go in the park for a little while in the morning too, though. So let's, uh, maybe go, maybe go to six yeah, somewhere around there. It's a pretty good nap. All right, so we lost 221 bucks, but we got $71 to our name now. All right, good. Now I need to go do some things for my happiness because we are very unhappy. So we're going to take the van. It's got 95% uh, fuel and 97% health. And as long as I, I can run red lights, as long as I don't hit anybody. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> I don't think there's any police in the game yet to give me tickets. Now, one of the other things that happens with this game uh, and the new updates is you can see how the vehicles are staying in their lane just a little bit easier, right? Like if you're if you're driving, this isn't just my skill and allowing me to stay, you know, perfectly centered in the lane. Uh, the vehicles will do this kind of automatically ish. Now they sort of try to stay in the lane so if you're getting a little close to the center the vehicle will change its own uh trajectory there while you're hitting you know w to go forward so in other words every vehicle has like lane assist now and that's great so as long as my character is happy we will be hopefully be able to have better customer service because our, our business has, doesn't have that all that great a customer service right now so if I take a look at what I've got, my interior is a 76%, which is kind of odd. It shouldn't be that high in my opinion, but there it is at 76. Uh, cleanliness is good. Our pricing has been excellent because we have the cheapest pricing around, but our customer service is lacking. And part of that is my happiness. If my character is not feeling it, he's not very happy. He's not going to provide good service. So we want to just up that a little bit. We don't want to go to work being super cranky. In other words, um, so let's go in and we're just going to sleep for like an hour in the park. That's fine. It'll bring us to eight o'clock and that'll give us a, a longer lasting effect for this. Now I want to take a quick look since we don't open until 11 or so, right? I want to take a quick look at 
where the gym is. I don't remember quite where it is. Right there. Okay. I think it was over here somewhere. So we're going to set the destination to the gym. Uh, I got 71 bucks. I think that's enough to go to the gym today. I want to just get a little bit, a little bit more health, right? A little more happiness. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I might have hit an ambulance just now. It didn't slow down enough, fast enough. Uh, so keep calm and squat on is the gym. It's over there. And uh, I think finding parking near it is a gamble. We're going to take too much time, but we'll see. Uh, $71. Yeah, parking near it is... That was a gamble. All right. Tell you what, we're going to go to the... Or we're going to go to work today instead, and then we'll try the gym tomorrow. Uh, but I'm going to start... We're not quite there yet, but we're going to start looking to hire some people uh, as well. So getting employees is a great way to uh, free up some time for us, right? So we can do other things like, you know, making sure our, our stores are stocked and everything and then maybe starting new businesses, right? All right, we're here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the bags that are in storage there, head on into the shop. And we're just going to grab paper bag. There we go. Put it on the shelf. And then we can get on the register and start working. So we'll just go out, grab this uh, spot here, start working. Let me real quick check the schedule. It says we open at 11. I'm going to open everything at 10. That's going to be where we open now. So I'm going to go open seven days a week, but uh, I will be getting employees pretty soon here so that we can uh, have that be better managed by other people. Or rather, I can take a more management position instead of working the cash register and stuff. Yeah. But hey, we're open for business. We don't have a whole lot of seating, but at this point, we can start reinvesting all of our profits now go into this building. All the profits go into getting new tables, getting new hardware, getting new product offerings, expanding our shelving space, hiring new people, etc. All that stuff just like helps us scale it up from here, right? I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone through a couple of days of work. So we're up to 6408. I got 2,800 uh, I made yesterday. We're gonna park the van here. And I'm probably gonna leave the van here for a little bit because parking in front of this business is actually pretty challenging. Most of the time there's no spaces available. Um, but we're gonna work today. Uh, we're open at 10, right? Everything's in stock, everything's ready to go. So I'm gonna do one more day of work here. But then we need to start shifting our mindset in, uh, into more of a management role as opposed to our own employee role. So in other words, I need to hire people to manage the cash register, to clean the floors, to open and close the store, those types of things. I need to start looking to hire other people to do these things rather than me so that I can focus on expanding the business. Right now, I have to close the entire store if I want to buy more tables, for example, or have more chairs or whatever that stuff, unless I have it delivered to me. Now, delivery is an option. And since I have a little bit of cash, we're going to go ahead and do that. But I do also need to look at hiring and, uh, and yeah, and hiring people. If you go into the business tab, uh, I went over to Anderson Recruitment Corp between cuts here, and I uh, I just tagged up, and that puts them on the contact list. I also tagged up when I did that. It says, "I'm sorry, but before we can help you in hiring your first employee, you are required by law to complete the basic management course. We recommend Manhattan Business School. This is the uh, course that I started at an hour of." And I still have nine hours left to go. I have to have time to do that within their normal hours and everything. And so that's part of, you know, I'm going to have to close the store in order to do that. Right. So we're going to do one more day here. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to close the store so that I can focus my entire day on that course. I can then call Anderson's, have them start recruitment. And I might be able to get employees by Thursday, Friday, get people in here. And that'll be a lot easier. Okay. Uh, now today is Tuesday. So we're going to be affecting Wednesday's schedule for that. All right. So one more day here, I'm going to bank up a little bit more cash. Hopefully things stay in stock. I have the, the van now. So I was able to stock well ahead of time. And then, uh, we'll go from there after I've got the, the business degree. All right. I have now completed the basic management course is don't you wish it was that easy in real life? Uh, we can now call Anderson. They're still up until five. I've got a little bit of time left. So we're going to go ahead and call them and they're going to say, Hey, uh, you got your stuff. Congratulations. What can we do for you? So I'm going to select Char's Fast and Fresh, and I'm going to say I'm looking for somebody who's got experience with customer service. Part-time, full-time, doesn't really matter, but, you know, I probably need a few candidates to just know what I'm looking for here. We got 98.99 remaining, okay? And 
I think I want, let's say five candidates and let's have them deliver this over the course of the next four days. Uh, we can, we can pay less if we don't need it quite as urgently. I can pay as little as $250 and you know, honestly, that's not a bad idea, but I think I want to get this started a little bit quicker. So why don't we go, uh, this will be like one person per day. I, I think I'd write this to be a little bit faster. So let's, let's get five candidates in four days. We'll, we'll pay a premium to, to get this stuff faster. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. And they will now try to find me some people who can handle customer service. All right. So that's the Manhattan business school and that's recruiting. So I'm done. Uh, my home is just down the road from the Manhattan business school, actually. So it's just right here on the corner. So no need to drive or anything like that. I left the van over at the store and that was my entire day for Wednesday. So tomorrow I need to work, but I will hopefully be getting phone calls or text messages or whatever the heck Anderson does now, uh, <laughs> this new version, maybe they're up to date. Um, and they'll be telling me whether or not, uh, I've, they've got any qualified candidates for me. Now, one of the other things I'd like to do, and I'm a little bit short on energy, but I guess I have time today, don't I? I do. We're just going to eat some food really quick and then that'll, that'll make sure I have time today. Uh, probably need to take a cat taxi because my car is over at the store. Um, but I think one of the things I can do, hey, notifications, is I can come down to uh, Ica. I could buy, for example, use today to purchase uh, some more tables and chairs and stuff and have them deliver it, which I can, of course, just do with a phone call. And then the other thing I'd like to do, I can't do two different deliveries, which is why I would do this with a phone call to the business. Uh, but I'm going to still walk over there. Uh, I'd like to get a television for my apartment because this is something we can also do to aid in our happiness. Maybe even a desk and a computer, that kind of thing. We can play video games. That also helps our happiness. And we can do these things in our apartment and not have to pay, you know, repetitive rates like going to the gym, for example, where, you know, we have the equipment or they have the equipment, but they require me to pay every single time. So I'm going to get on the phone and we'll look for Ica. Here we go. We'll call them. They're going to say, how can we help you? Yeah, I'd like you to get a delivery over here. Now, again, we can deliver to our address, but you can't have both deliveries pending at the same time, at least as far as I'm aware. Maybe we can do different days or something, but uh, it's okay. Uh, we're going to have them deliver the tables and chairs and stuff. Let's have them do it near the end of the day on Thursday. We'll then have that stuff ready to go on Friday. So we'll say 2 p.m. on Thursday. That sounds fine. Uh, and then we can add item. Let's go in and see what we want then. So we're going to need two additional chairs. Just trying to find the tables and chairs here. So there's the table. I do want one. Let's go. Um, if we order two tables, we have one, two chairs that completes the table we already have. And then we need another eight. So we're looking for 10 chairs essentially here. If I can go for, yep, we can do that instead. Okay, so that gives me the tables and chairs that I'd want for that area. Now, as far as the cabinets goes, oh, we probably should have some decorations and stuff too. We could do that. Um, so probably what we could do is maybe get a couple of planner boxes. This will help our, our atmosphere there in the store. Uh, and then honestly, I guess I could just deliver the stuff from my apartment and just have it delivered directly to the store and then take it home with me the next day, right? I could, I could just do that. Why don't we, why don't we do that instead? We'll have a, a painting. We'll get like two of these paintings. Um, let's go ahead and grab a pull-up bar would probably help a little bit for my own comfort and getting extra exercise, things like that. And then I want to also get a television right here. Yep. We'll get the TV and then anything else, anything I'm, you know, missing here. Um, obviously the computer was the idea, but that's expensive. I'm already getting the pull-up bar. It should be okay the way it is. Restaurant LCD screen would be cool to have at the restaurant too. So we can do that. Uh, the decorative bookshelf is a new item in this update, and that's going to allow me to read books at my own house. So that's an idea as well. And there's the basic gaming PC setup, which is 1500. We're not going to worry about that right now. Um, I think we're kind of good here. I will need more of these cabinets though. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with like three of these to be delivered as well. Hmm. Let's do four. We're going to need more grills and stuff though. So let's go five and then we'll have a corner piece delivered as well. Yep. And I think that's kind of it for now. We can always assess the situation later, but 
But I think that's kind of it for now as far as Ica goes. Uh, the only other deliveries and things that, things that I would want would be, you know, like additional grills and stuff for us to have in the store. But for now, I think that's a good delivery. So that runs me a total of $8,370. It's just, just a little bit too much, isn't it? Just a little bit too much. Let's maybe take down how many cabinets with doors we're going to have for now. And we'll have this be the delivery. We'll get more cabinets later. All right, that's going to be the delivery. And we're just going to have all that stuff ordered. So that means I don't need to walk over to Ica anymore. Okay, cool. I'll just sleep it off, go to work the next day, do all that stuff. And then we'll get everything set up for the business. Guys, I went to the park. And then I decided to rent a scooter. Yep. Got our little electric scooter. <laughs> Man, I wish I could zoom in more. That's been my one thing I've always wanted to do in this game and that I just have not been able to do yet is zoom in. I've always wanted to get closer to my characters in this game and it just, it just isn't a thing yet. I don't know if it ever will be, but it is a thing at the moment. Okay, so we're going to say right there. There we go. And I was able to get all the way over here. I wonder how long that scooter will last. Like, will it, will it still be there if I leave the building and come back, like, come out? Yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's like an all day thing. Like you run it for a day and then it disappears maybe. It's still mine. So we're going to leave it there outside the store. Uh, then we can see. Now we can alter the appearance and stuff on the sign and stuff too. But we don't have a whole lot of time because the business is about to open. So I'm just going to go ahead and get on the register and do it. But I just want to show you that uh, we do have uh, the, the electric scooter. And it goes pretty quick too. I would say it's, it maybe is even faster than the fan. All right. So I was working the register and everything. It's uh, almost 1 p.m. So we got about an hour until that delivery happens. And I noticed that I got some pips over here. All right. So that means we've got some candidates available. Now, hourly wages, 20 and 21. Seems good. Customer service is at 24% and 27%. So they're not uh, they're not all that uh, good. However, one of them wants to be part-time. One of them wants to be full-time. I'm going to go for the full-time one here. Now, every employee candidate that we have has a certain set of skills, and these can be improved over time. As their skills improve, though, they will want more money. So the better the candidate they are, the more money they're going to want. They also have other types of wants and demands. And sometimes they're simple, like the you know full-time or part-time. And other times they have other things that they like. And in fact, as they start to get better and they start to make more money, their demands can change and they might want more things. So they might want, for example, a break room with a coffee machine, or they might want to, you know, if, if they're in an office environment, maybe they want that, or they want like a better desk or a better computer or a better chair or whatever the case is, you know, they want certain types of healthcare, et cetera. They have different types of demands and stuff that they're going to have over time. For this, though, real easy, 21. Now, I can negotiate, which is interesting. I can just take the, the hourly wage that they demand, or I can negotiate that, which is interesting. I'm not sure how that works. I don't think I've ever done that before. Thank you for considering me for the open position. Let's discuss the wages for this job. So they want 21.09. Uh, seems you're not satisfied with the offer. What do you propose? How about if I offer you 20.5? All right. Then I'll give you a hundred dollar signing bonus because <laughs> those are always a ripoff. <laughs> those are always such a, a such a tactic, man. Uh, I'll send the offer, see what they say. Okay, cool. Uh, they counter offered for more than they had before. That's that's not how this is normally done. <laughs> oh, she drives a hard bargain, doesn't she? Fine, you win. I like your gumption. All right, cool. That's a fair salary. I'm going to accept. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to working with you. So, so I'm an excellent negotiator. They, we started at 2109. We ended at 2173. Great. All right. So that's where we're going here. And I can manage this employee. Uh, let's go to my employees. Yep, we can manage this employee. Now, we can also spend, we can spend money to train their skills. Uh, we need to get them into a uniform, which I don't have a uniform for this business yet. And honestly, this is a fine uniform. I don't mind that so much. Yeah, whatever. It's cool. Maybe we get you in some darker pants. That could be fine. Uh, from over here for the, for the gentleman here, let's, uh, yeah, get you in some darker pants. Yeah, this seems like a fine thing here. So, uh, we're probably going to want to make it a, se a separate preset though. So we're going to go in and we're going to call it, uh, chars. Let's, let's just go with chars, uh, fast and fresh. 
There we go. Okay, so again, we want this to be darker pants, and then for the ladies, we just go darker pants like that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we, yeah, don't we have darker, like a more dressy pants, right? Yeah, like this. I don't know. We could go more casual. Just let them in blue jeans if they want to. Yeah, we could we could allow that. Yeah, just go dark blue jeans if you want to. I don't like the brown belt though. Could have done without the brown belt, gentlemen. You're gonna be in nicer pants. That's just the way it's gonna be. Yeah. All right, good. Uh, that's gonna be it. And then the shoes, I'm fine with you being in comfortable shoes. You're never gonna, I'm never gonna require those. Uh, let's go. Yeah, the visor seems interesting because you know the whole hair uh situation for them. That's fine. Uh, gentlemen, we're gonna have you fully cover your hair. I guess that's fine with me. Uh, and then the apron stuff. I like how the security, they could wear, could have them wear security vests while they're working. What kind of neighborhood is this? <laughs> Not going to do that. No, we're going to have them be just like this. All right, that's going to be the preset we have. So there we go. The Char's Fast and Fresh is what they're going to be wearing. Okay, good. Uh, current business, they are assigned, of course, to Char's Fast and Fresh. There it is. Uh, and then the final thing I need to do is go over to my restaurant in the schedule. They're here. And I need to give them full time hours. That's critical for them to be happy. So let's turn this on. We're going to say that you work. Um, well, yeah, we're open here. We're going to have you work on the cash register from 10 to 7 every day. Now that is overworked. 63 hours a week. So let's go back to our candidates. And... We have Kyle Rosamond, and he wants 20 bucks an hour. He wants to go part time. I think we can get a better candidate though, so I'm gonna be fine with. I'm gonna I'm gonna be fine with this for now. Uh, I think we can get a better candidate now. What I need though from her is I need her to not work every single day. So we're gonna have to have a non-shared schedule, and we're gonna have to make sure that she's not working Friday, Saturday. Uh, actually, that's it. We'll ha we can actually close on Sunday if I wanted to, but why don't we have her work Fridays? I like this better. Let's have her work Fridays. And then we will work weekends. All right. We'll take the Friday, the Saturday, Sunday, because a lot of the businesses we want to interact with, like recruiting agencies and things like that, they're closed on weekends anyway. So we'll work the store on the weekends and then we can interact with all these guys on the weekdays. So that gives her the 45 hours a week that she wants, which is great. It also means that she is now managing that register which is great <laughs> all right so now i can come out here and we got our delivery yeah that's great too so we're gonna have to bring all that stuff in so i'm gonna say that i'm gonna come over here let's uh oh there's not a whole lot of hot dogs and burgers left now i'm pretty confident the employee will restock based on the stock that we have here so she'll be restocking just for a second though i'm gonna kind of clean this place up a little bit uh-huh there we go just uh Kind of helping out, you know. Want to make sure we're treating everybody good. Hey, how you doing? How's your food? Yeah, is everything's good here. All right, cool. Thanks for coming. All right, just, just talk to people. I wish there was a thing we could do. Talk to our people. That'd be great. Um, all right, I wanted to get this. That's what I want. There we go. Let's see, this is already restocked now. There's 97 of them there. All right, so awesome. All right, let's come in here and here's the pallet. All of our stuff is just sitting out here. Great. Uh, we're going to grab the planter boxes and the two regular chairs first. Let's go ahead and grab the regular chairs, unpack it and get that over here at the table. There we go. And the same thing here, regular chair, place it at the table. Uh, and then for the planter boxes, let's go in and put those up by the window. I think we'll probably put one like right here. That's going to make the place look a little bit better, right? We can unpack it over here, do another one on this side. Yeah, I like that. So just in front of that front display window, we'll have all those plants. Sounds good. Come back out and let's figure out something else. Uh, we'll do the two paintings. Let's do two of the cabinets with doors as well. So the cabinets are going to end up wrapping around, right? We're going to have them kind of, we're going to have this whole area kind of enclosed. And then over here will be, I think, where everybody sits, which makes sense because that's where the door is too. You wouldn't want people to cross in front of the line to get food in order to, to enter and leave. So uh, I think that works out for me. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn this one like mm, now. The thing is, we don't need to unless I'm going to do something else. 
Also, they're totally different colors, right? So we're going to have to redo their colors too, which isn't hard. I know how to do that, so it's fine. But we'll we'll do it later. I'm not really a huge... I'm not really... I don't really care right now. Uh, let's put these pictures uh, on the wall. Let's say over by the tables. That sounds nice. These little paintings and stuff can go on the walls like that. There we go. And then back out. Let's go ahead and get our tables and chairs. So we're going to go with... One, two, three, four chairs. Let's just bring them all in. I think that's what I'll do is I'll just bring them all in. Let's grab the, the cart. We'll bring in another cart. There we go. Hand carts are infinite and free, man. That's how they work. Bring that in. Go get another one. There we go. Let's grab the three tables and our LCD restaurant screen. We'll go ahead and put that screen right here. They can look at this for like the menu. As you're entering, you know what the menu is. It's right there. I like it. All right. So the standard table, put that over here on this side. That's fine with me. Uh, another table can go. Uh, maybe we'll have it be angled like this. That, that could be interesting. Yeah, we could do it. Maybe something like this. It's a little close to the wall, though, I'm, the, to the door. I'm trying not to get the door. And maybe we will just keep it like this. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just keep it lined up for now. I can change it later, but for now, it's fine. All right. We're just going to get all these things positioned so everything looks good and other people can sit down and they don't have to complain so much. It's going to be great. I'll be right back. All right. So I got the pull-up bar and the television in the van. Well, let's check out the store. This is what it looks like so far. We just got the, the tables and everything right here. Now, I could move them and the chairs are attached to the table now, so I can reposition them to where they're just a little bit further away from you know the door and then they're coming kind of maybe like staggered like this could be interesting let's move these pictures to be on the wall maybe over like this and then we could also use like additional artwork and stuff around the walls as well most of the people here are complaining about the walls and floors being ugly and so that's the other thing i need to start addressing it is i'm gonna have to start investing in new floors and in new uh and new walls and stuff which is fine we can we can handle that i want the plants and stuff too most likely uh we're gonna move this over here move this right over here move this over here and then i think i had a second cash register i remember i thought i had anyway a second cash register didn't i yeah right here so we can now bring the second cash register over and i can place this uh down here i'm gonna have to put paper bags and stuff in it but by placing another cash register in here we will now satisfy the requirements to get to the 30 building limit okay so 2x cash registers each one is worth 20 that makes us 40 which puts us over the 30. makes sense so burgers industrial grill that's the thing that's holding us back right now is we don't have enough grills for burgers but now that i have an employee that's able to do these things for me well that means i can spend more of my time looking at expanding this out right that's what i'm into that's what i want to do uh, let's grab some hot dogs really quick. We're just going to stock things because I can, all right? Not that I have to, but like, you know, my, my girl just went home, all right? So I'm going to, you know, going to have to do things while she's out here. Uh, we don't have any more paper bags. Am I out? There we go, paper bags. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put those paper bags in this cash register. There we go. That's already full. Okay, good. Um, how about this one? Just put the rest of them inside this one, I guess. There we go. All right, I'm good to go. That's my store for now. It's it's improving, right? We're going to, you know, it'll, it'll ramp up. We'll be fine. Here's Char's Fast and Fresh. Let's see if we can maybe alter the appearance of the sign a little bit. So type one, type two, type three. Okay, so this is like the the overall design of the sign around it itself. That looks more like, like a notepad kind of thing. So maybe that would be for a bookstore more than this. That seems like it's a show of some kind. And we're not going to get the lights. No, thanks an awful lot of lights for what we want here i mean i'm sure it's attractive but now this looks like it could be like a maybe a neon kind of thing here so we could go into like an orange lamp there it is sign color could be more of a gold color all right uh i'm looking i feel like i should be able to change the white background here but that doesn't seem to be a thing i can do so i think you know the next thing to do right is to get actual graphics which we can do we can get you know a graphic to replace this so i'll have to look at doing that but that's gonna be a lot of work and i'm not sure i'm prepared to do that kind of work but tell you what if any of you guys feel like you'd like to 
take that on. I will gladly use your designs in my videos. <laughs> I know that sentence sounds great, right? I will gladly use your designs in my videos. If you want to donate them, uh, let me know. Uh, just contact me on Discord if you're into it. Um, uh, granted, they have to be, you know, be, be decent designs, all right? You know, don't don't give me the, don't give me some thing your kid drew in Microsoft Paint, all right? I'm looking for professionalism. All right, uh, let's I'll let this play on for a little bit here. I obviously need to go home and everything, but before I do, all right, I'm all, I have energy. I'm just low on food. I need to go and uh, get this stuff out of the van, and we're gonna bring the television over to our apartment, and we can place this on the wall over here. Right over here sounds fine. So now we can, for example, click and watch television if we want to for, I don't know, let's say 30 minutes. We don't have a couch to sit on, but it's still going to make us happy. The so 30 minutes of watching that is going to give us a nice bump to our happiness. We get three hours left for a 25% bump. All right, cool. Awesome. Sounds good. Uh, I could eat, but there's no consequence to that since I'm going to be sleeping soon anyway. So I just want to make sure I get the uh, pull-up bar out of here. I guess I have to go all the way around because that tree's in the way. Fine. Go like this then. There you go. And we're going to put the pull-up bar in here now too, which is something we can use for exercise later. And we can put that like... It's interesting how it's like, this is too high. This is too low. This one's just right. There you go. And now we can use the pull-up bar. And if I did that for a half an hour... We could start working out for a half hour. Can you get there? Man, I don't know. Doing pull-ups for half an hour, that seems intense. But this is the kind of stuff. I mean, he would be used to this, right? They have stuff like this and, you know, a ways to do pull-ups and stuff in prison, right? I'm sure they do. There's, there's going to be bars hanging around somewhere in this direction, at least. Not just vertical, right? At some point. There we go. So that's going to, again, increase our happiness. Now we have other ways to get our happiness up. And our happiness needs to be high if we want our employee morale to be high. Because that is also a factor in the game. Your employees will have better morale. They'll enjoy working with you more if, you have a good, if you're in a good mood. If you're in a constantly pissy mood, you're not very good to work for. Makes sense? So now it becomes even more important for us to keep our happiness uh, up as we go. So... Now I can move through this way. We made a smaller profit than we would have originally, I think. We made a smaller profit, but we didn't have to manage the store directly. And now we get to do, again, a more managerial position on things. Or we can just sleep through the day if we want to. That's a thing we can do as well. But as long as we keep our mood up, we should be in good shape here. I'm going to watch this for another hour, I think. 8.23 a.m. There we go. And now all my stats are great, aren't they? Yes, they are. So knowing what we have in stock in our store is pretty critical. We might need to get more product. Um, and again, we're going to be working Saturday and Sunday. So that'll we'll probably make more money there, I would hope. Here's additional candidates. We could also have someone else work Saturday and Sunday. This person wants to go part-time. And she got a 32% customer service. That's not bad. I would like to do better in negotiating if I could, though, here. So let's... Uh, yeah, she's 49. Let's see if we can maybe negotiate this just a little bit better. Okay, we're going to negotiate. Hi. She wants 2209. Yeah, so I'd like to pay you 21. How's that? <laughs> counter offered higher. Why are you counter offering me higher? It makes no sense. That's not how negotiations work, Ingrid. <laughs> what is this? No, I said 21. How about 2150? How about how about that? 2150. Oh, now she's down to 2265. All right, one more time trying to get you under 22. That's insane. Uh how about just you wanted 2209 before? Like I I, I still I want you to under 22. Let's go 21 2160. Come on now. I think it's a fair off fair salary I'm going to accept. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> That's the second time somebody tried to negotiate me higher than their starting offer. Well, hey, I didn't get taken advantage of this time. Sorry, Ingrid. I got, uh, you weren't the first. If you had been first, maybe you would have worked. Okay. Uh, so my employees, Ingrid is here. We need to give her the uniform as well as tell her which business she's working for. Uh, and then all about satisfaction. We need to get that satisfaction up. Uh, hers is at 58. I think that's higher than it used to be. So she, hers is probably climbing. 
But Ingrid, you're here. You want to be part time. That means between 10 and 30 hours per week, which is honestly perfect because there just happens to be a nifty weekend schedule just for you, Ingrid. Here you go. You can work this schedule and you can work the entirety of the 10 to 7 shift on Saturday and Sunday. There you go. How about that? Both of you guys have the checkbox. Both of you guys are happy. So am I. It means I don't have to work at my restaurant anymore. So again, it means I'm more oversight now. I'm more managerial and I'm going to be probably taking a lot of my time restocking the business because that's something that we have to do. So if I take a look at my products and pricing and inventory and all these types of things, I still have the cheapest price on the market for these things. We could raise it to 720, but now we're not the cheapest anymore. I think I'll just match my competitors at 710. That seems fine. Um, this is at 1513. I think we'll go just an extra 10 cents on the burgers. That seems fine to me. All right. So we're still on par with the cheapest prices in the market for now. Um, but I need to see what I have for stock. Well, I have 2,400 hot dogs in stock and another 1,700 burgers. So I'm fine. I don't need any more. I've also got a lot of paper bags in stock. So we're, we're great. We're good here. Yeah, 2,300 bucks left. I think maybe we could look, look at buying some more decorative stuff, uh, to improve the, uh, aesthetics of our business. And actually on that note, the 2,300 we have we could actually look to, you know, change up the, the walls and floors, right? That's what people are complaining about after all is the walls and floors or are the walls and floors. Is that it, it, their complaint is a singular thing, but the walls and floors is a dual thing. So like what I say is their complaint is the walls and floors or their complaint are it'd be complaints, right? You have to have multiple complaints. I think that's what it is. I said it right the first time. <laughs> My English skills are like, I swear I'm at least sixth grade reading level. We're back in the business. And again, they're complaining about the walls and floors. So let's do something about that. Interior designer. What we want to do is pick a wall and floor pattern that we think people will like. This default one is not good. The more we spend, the more they'll like it probably, but we don't need to spend a lot to get them happy. So I'm thinking for walls, maybe we can go with like this light color right here. This seems interesting. I like that. Maybe we can go like this along the back. That's interesting. Uh, we can go maybe. Um, we just do it all the way around. I think if we did it all the way around, it would cost us too much, right? Yeah. So that's going to be twenty nine seventy five. So we don't really want to do that. So our current score says is zero percent. Um, if I just to put this on the back wall over here. Just this accent wall brings us to 3%, I guess. So it might be mostly the floors that need to be changed. I wonder. Maybe we go with uh, this lighter this lighter pattern here could be interesting. We'll try that over here. Let's say we go like this. How much is this going to cost me? That's a 24. But that's so much money. Oh, my God. So, yeah, this is going to be more expensive than I thought it would be. Um, I mean, we can go cheaper, of course, but I'd like to just, oh, they can't find a place to put their trash. Oh, you actually use those things now, do you? Okay. Okay. Well, we should probably make a trip to, I, we can make a trip to Ico. We could just call them and see what they have. Right. We could see, uh, where is it? I got to figure out where it is. There it is. Uh, let's call Ica here. Let's see. What do you guys have? that you could deliver to my business tomorrow. Okay, so I looked it up. It's not It's not an Ica. It's actually at AJ's. So hey, we got to go all the way over to AJ's. So I'm going to turn right here, head up to 5th Street, and it should be kind of-ish, kitty corner-ish to where I am now. It should be just over here. And so let's see if we can get a convenient parking spot nearby. We can. Look at that. So we'll just kind of pull ourselves in here. There we go. Man, I missed that auto park feature. We got to get ourselves a nice rich car soon. Auto park is really good. Uh, all right. So AJ's, let's just grab one of the carts. I'm not sure we're going to buy this much stuff from here, but I definitely want to get some stuff from here. And what I probably should do is tag up at their desk so that I can call them later. 
Gotta figure out where that desk is for ordering. It's probably near the back. Let's see. Is it over here in the back room somewhere? No, that looks like a break room. That's kind of cool though, how you did that. You guys have pallet shelves here. We don't need those just yet. Not until we get much bigger. And I'm thinking, and I don't see these things. The trash receptor? Anything that looks like a garbage bin, do you guys? Huh? I guess if you saw it, you probably would be able to tell me that you see it, right? It's got to be this. Yeah, here it is. Trash bins right here. So we're going to grab one. Eh, I think one is probably fine, right? Let's just get two. Why not? It's only 30 bucks. It's no big deal. Now, these are the restaurant booths. I opted for the tables and chairs. You can go either way, I guess. But the booths have to be placed against the wall, and they're $2,000 a piece. They're just a little expensive. I just opted not to do that. Uh, the little circle table, though, would be kind of interesting to have. There's $700, though, for that. It's like, it's it's more expensive. I can buy two of these tables for the price of one of those tables. So, yeah, I think this is probably it. I don't think I need anything else here. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at maybe some of the signage that they have. This is interesting. Like, a lot of the stuff we've ne never seen before. At least not on this channel, right? Like, we had... We stopped playing it and let it, you know, let the game develop a little bit more. And uh, it's cool that way. Product sign, hanging square, exit signs. Uh, they got these uh, product wall signs here too. That's interesting. Now that's going to do it. We're just going to take the trash bins. It's fine. So we'll go ahead and grab the trash bins. And oh, there it is right here. Let's just tag up on this desk really quick. Right at the front of the store. There we go. Now, all we have to do is that, and then we can get out. And now I will be able to call them and have deliveries later if I want to. All right, let's pop these in the back of the van. We can just leave this out in the street. It's fine. It'll despawn. And we need to whip ourselves a Yui here right around this UPS truck after just a really quick love tap. <laughs> Down to 89 or 85% damage now. Ugh. Vehicle repairs are not cheap, so really want to hurt my vehicle as little as possible because <laughs> it's going to cost me a lot to fix it we'll park on the opposite side of the street just because it's easier like these end parking spots where i don't have to worry about anyone getting in front of me love it all right let's get out uh we're just going to grab one for now and then we have an extra if we need an extra we'll do it otherwise we'll save it for the next business oh. all right so we'll just place this garbage bin right here uh you know what actually it makes more sense to have the baskets be here. Do we even need the baskets? I'm not sure the baskets are required. Stack of shopping baskets? I mean, they go right to the counter, right? We don't need these. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no not for this business type. We don't need this. Yeah, yeah, pack this up, uh, grab this. We can just bring this back to the van. So the next business, we can have the shopping baskets for something. This is more of like a product-based business where they shop around, they grab things in the store, and then they come and check out. But with a food with like this, this type of business, they come directly to the counter. We get it for them. So we don't need them to have baskets. Uh, now, I don't have any of my employees stationed to clean. So I'm still in charge of cleaning for now. But some of these other candidates that we're getting, like these part-time candidates, we can always stick them on cleaning as well. Having dedicated cleaning staff, I find isn't necessary. Your regular cashiers and stuff can clean. And if you play your cards right and you get the you know get the people organized correctly you can have them just like at the end of their shift you clean that's what you do right and that's the kind of thing I'm going to look to have them do in a second I can't clean that spot on the floor it won't let me are they too close together yeah I can't clean that spot on the floor interesting I'm going to move this over just a little bit more I think I need to spread them out a little bit in order to be able to clean the floors so put that there, put that there, yep. And then hopefully I can now get close enough to, to clean that spot. Weird. It's not letting me. There it goes. Uh-oh. I mean, it still says 99. That's not that big of a deal. You're not going to see it if I take the mop away, right? Like, you're not going to notice that. So it's whatever. But it is interesting that I can't get that. All right, so... I have other extra candidates here. What I want to see is, can we have longer hours, right? Getting more people to work means we can have longer hours. There is a limit to what people are willing to do. Margie, or Margie, I don't know, Miss Havens, 42% um, customer service. 
she wants to be part-time. That's not bad. Um, so we could go ahead and negotiate her down a little bit too, hopefully. Oh, she's starting at 2410. Cool. I think we could, you know, watch her reduce this, right? Watch her go lower or go higher. Sorry. Yeah. Now she wants 25. It's so weird, right? It's just odd. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Um, we're going to go 23 again. I'm going to keep insisting on 23 to see if she just takes it. She didn't adjust her offer at all. Then again, neither did I. So I guess that's, that's a fair game, isn't it? All right, fine. How about uh, 2350? Nah, not that. 2350, please. Whew. I moved a decimal place there. Yeah, she's, she's just not going the right direction. I'm not sure how she's trying to... What kind of convincing here, but um, she's not going the right way. 2360. Yeah, she's going to accept that. that. That's a lot of back and forth at really high prices just to finally land, you know, where I, where I want her to be. That's weird. All right. Anyway, uh, candidates, $20 an hour. I'm just going to flat out accept that at this point because the chances I get that are pretty low. But again, more uh, part-time work. That's fine. We'll just straight up hire you for 20 bucks. Uh, okay. So let's go into employees. We want to assign both of you here. Yep. Fast and fresh. There we go. Same thing here. You're going to be assigned to that business. There you go. Okay. Now everybody's assigned. Now we need to go back to the schedule and make sure that we get them all popped in. So I'm thinking we want longer hours, right? So our opening hours are now from 10 to 10. That seems reasonable. And what we can do is we can say that Ingrid with her 32 cleaning or with her 32 skills here, we can have you work this little shift right here. So for a little bit of time, like from four to seven, we have both registers open, right? That kind of thing. It still keeps her in her part-time range that she wants to be. That's the critical thing. Um, now we can go over to, let's say, uh, and these are all individual days now. So we kind of have to manage them little bits at a time, which is fine for the weekend. She wants to be part-time. I'm just going to stick you in there and that gives you two registers on the weekends. I want to, I want to extend this though. So how about we go like this? That seems fine to me. Sunday, kind of the same thing. 10 to 10 uh, on pretty much every day, but we'll have uh, Kyle come in for that la that last shift over there. Okay, sounds good. For Monday, again, we're at 10 to 10. I could hit this button to adjust, but it also adjusts all the cash register stuff too. And I don't want that to be a thing. Um, so we'll have Kyle come in for the ending shift on that one. And we'll shorten it down a little bit there. I could probably shorten this one a little bit too. Whoever's making the most, like if you're making the most money per hour, you're going to have the absolute minimum to keep you happy, right? Um, Tuesday, same thing. We'll go up to 10 to 10 and then let's get Kyle in here and we'll just get you like that. Let's say a Wednesday, let's bring Margie back in. Yep, yeah, we'll do that. And then Thursdays out and that should be the rest. Yep. Okay, so we don't have to deal with any other days after this uh margie you'll come in and you'll be like this okay this keeps everybody in the range that they're looking to be in right seems good now who has a little bit more leeway here right i think if like can you go 25 26 hours you can so it's it's anything under 30 right okay so ingrid on the days that you work here we're also going to have you work a cleaning shift at the very beginning of the day, right? So, and I think actually what we could do here instead, hmm, I'd like you to work that end here, but that's fine. We'll have you do a cleaning shift right here on Friday. It's gonna be just two hours. So you clean and then you start your shift, okay? It's kind of backwards. I would normally want, you know, the cleaning to happen at the end of the day, but if it happens in the middle, it's not a big deal. It's better than not happening at all. Um, uh, Mar Margie, we're going to have you do the same. You're going to come in on, you're only doing the weekends. Anyway, you're going to clean. Let's say you come in at 11, you clean up and then you start your shift here. Okay. Sunday is Kyle. Kyle does the same thing. He's going to come in, start his shift at 12. Let's say he works through this. That's fine. And that's the kind of scheduling we're going to have for this restaurant for a little while. And this means I will never have to come in unless somebody calls in sick. Because that can happen too. 
people can call in sick and then I would need to know what time do they work and then I would need to be there to cover that shift or I need to hire uh, uh an HR firm that can handle that kind of stuff for me which I don't currently have uh right now so that stuff's kind of expensive we'll have Kyle come in there as long as he stays under 30 hours we're good and Kyle's pretty cheap he's that $20 an hour guy that I just got so we're gonna want you to come in every day <laughs> every single day if you could please at least work that maximum 30 hours that you can work uh you're gonna come in do the same thing here we go and just like that okay and we now have yep right there we now have every day there's a cleaner and there's somebody on register at every to every time all right um now there are certain periods where we only have one person but we can look at our insights panel here and we can try to see on an hourly basis if we can I'm not sure where that is we used to be able to see that over time I thought now it's just every day yeah over the course of seven days yesterday here it is okay uh you can you can click these buttons so I can see kind of when customers are coming in and when they're not right so that's one of the things we're going to need to monitor and we can see whether or not it gets really busy at the, near the end of the day or whether it's a little lighter and then we can adjust people's hours accordingly to make sure we have everybody in their positions for that yeah and we are at some point here hitting right in the middle of the day at 12 we are hitting that 20 customer limit right if you look at the seven days this is like total customers right but the customers at one time in that hour right that's what we're hitting we're, we're slamming up against that not all the time though so it's not super critical but we will want to start expanding our capacity as we go and then uh the final thing here is looking at customer service is pretty bad right only at 24 percent because that's what the percentage of our employees is so we're going to want to also go in and uh uh you know train them make them better in their customer service skills and train them and that means paying them more but it means better better employees over time so the last thing that we should talk about for our businesses here wow hey man that was not my fault check your damn blind spot what are you doing coming over into my lane in the intersection of all places you're not supposed to switch lanes in an intersection anyways I'm back. Um, we uh, we need to talk about security is the last thing, right? So if we take a look at our business here, right? We're currently closed because it's too early in the day. It's almost 10. So I probably should show this after 10. Um, but it also shows a security rating. And this is the thing I was concerned about with the electronic store and the reason why I didn't ultimately go with it because we, uh, well, we would have a security uh, requirement, right? So right now it says, current security is poor it also says customer service is terrible we really should work on that um we'll be training our employees I think to uh, to get better customer service here in a second but um the uh security requirement is expensive so what I'm doing right now I'm in the van of course and I am headed out to the new lower Manhattan map area okay which is where we are right now this is a all new place where we're driving right now you guys have never seen this at least not on my channel so uh here it is we'll just take a quick look at it now if you get out and you look at this bridge right here the big long bridge that goes over it says it's opening in 2024 so I'm excited maybe there's gonna be uh you know actual Manhattan coming in here we're gonna be able to maybe get onto the island that'll be sick want to go ahead and do that too that'd be cool uh, we're just going to take a quick little detour right through here and where we are going is to the appliance store that sells security stuff but before we do that there's something i got to do first all right just because i got to do it i'm going to park the vehicle we're going to head across this we're going to jaywalk yep not my worst crime i've ever committed this is the skate park it's a new place and if you have an electric scooter which is probably worth the 20 bucks to be honest but I'll tell you what I'll if I have enough after this security purchase to do this then we'll go ahead and, and get the electric scooter and do it but um I don't want to spend 20 bucks and then be like oh no I'm 10 dollars shy or I don't want to have that happen but this is a skate park and you can grab the scooter and uh you can you can go around the skate park real quick if you like to and if you want to and maybe even do some tricks right so interesting place also is makes us happy to be here right longer we spend in here the better 
uh, trying to go through the basketball court. court. Uh, it'd be kind of cool to be able to play basketball here, too. Since the basketball hoops are here, you might as well let me do it, right? Although I will say it's a little odd to have the hoop be right here. I guess you'd want, like, a fence or something here, wouldn't you? I don't know. Maybe the, the ball's just going to constantly come out this way and possibly even go into the skate park and hit some kid on their skateboard and they're going to land on a ball. Ugh. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that, right? All right, anyway, so that's the skate park. I just wanted to check that out real quick. But uh, we are parked over here on the corner, and that's not an accident because the place we're going, which I probably could get a little closer. I wasn't sure what kind of parking would be available closer, but I, it looks like I can get closer. Uh, so we will try. Wow, these trucks are they are right here. Uh, I'd like to get on the opposite side of the road. And I mean, I'm going to park on the wrong side here, but maybe it'll let me park here. We'll, we'll see. Can I park right here? Will you let me do that? That is legal. I don't see how, but it is. Uh, so we're going to do that. And this is a place called Essentials Appliances. This is the store that has the security equipment that we're going to want. And uh, it's actually located right here in the front. So we can get security cameras which look like this. There's also the dome security cameras, which don't need to be mounted to the wall and can serve in a 360 degree, uh, a big circle on the ground. I'm going to grab that. And then uh, we also have these security panels as well. And uh, we're going to grab two of these. We could put one on each side of the door. Now, there's another thing here. We could put this little sign up. And that's, just, that's the other thing I'm going to grab. And that just informs everyone that, hey, by the way, smile, you're on camera. And uh, and that's it. That's all we're going to do for now. So I'm going to go ahead and check out right over here. That's $5,100. And we have $515 left. I wasn't sure how much money we'd have left. Now, the last thing I want to do, I just want to see if they're back here. Uh, it's a There's a desk. Store manager desk is right here. Yeah. Uh, but check this out. Look at this place. Like... This is like an entire nightclub setup right back here. You got a bar. I mean, this is awesome. We've got to open a nightclub at some point, right? Because this is cool. The floors lighting up and everything. Heck yeah, man. I and mean, it's probably very expensive. All the stuff in nightclubs are very expensive to buy, but uh, great margins on your overpriced drinks, right? <laughs> Just going to real quick tag up on the desk, and now I can call them to deliver things uh, for me anytime I want. Okay, so I bought everything already. So let's just go to uh, the car, and we'll uh, load it up into the van, and we'll uh, go back to the go back to the restaurant, and we'll install the security equipment there so that uh, people don't steal, and uh, you know we can have our security rating be nice and good, and we don't have any losses that way. Yeah. Do I want fuel? Yeah, I might as well. I'm, I'm I'm conveniently parked right there, so I might as well. All right, I will see you guys back at the store, but I mean, we're in a new area, so maybe maybe we'll... Oh, right, I said I was going to do the skate park, didn't I? <laughs> I almost took that away from you guys. All right, we're just kind of back into here. Is that free? Legal and free is what it says. So, all right, so let's grab the scooter. I have money available. Yep, there it is. Oh, yeah. And they are very fast. Well... They're just interesting. I, I really want to zoom in more, man. Come on. All right. Whee! Oh, I have no idea how this works. I am upside down. I, I, I can't see myself. Can I, can I, can I see? Okay, there it is. Yep. And being able to rotate the, rotate the camera would be fun, too. Oh, man. I am not good at this. Hang on. Come on. There it is. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to do the backflip. Oh, my God. It is very difficult. All right, hold on. Let's get a running start right here. Lots more speed is what we need, right? No, apparently not. Wow. Stop me like I'm hitting a wall. All right, that was an interesting trick. There we go. Yeah, that was a backflip. I don't care if the wall is in the way and we couldn't see it. That was a backflip right there. Yeah, that's another one. <laughs> All right, good. We did it. Maybe I can see it if I do it on this side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, see, it's, I only had my cr head cracked open a couple of times, but I can finally figure out how to do it now. Uh, all right, there you go. See, you have uh, you have scooters and stuff. We can... Uh, <laughs> that's a little bit weird, but sure. We can also leave our scooter like that. The basketball hoops are really weird. Like, it hangs you up. 
you get hung up on them. Uh, okay, so uh, back into the car. And then we need to find a way to get out of here. Those taxi cabs apparently are waiting for us. And I'm going to take the truck, take our, our van all the way back to where we belong. Going the wrong, the wrong way down this road. Still going the wrong way down this road. Here we go. And we'll take it back to the business and install security equipment. There's no parking near this thing, so we're going to have to come over it to the other side of the road. Here we go. And we'll just park it right there instead. Okay. Let's get our stuff out. Now, I didn't save the, the thing I was supposed to save. I, I wish I had saved it, but I didn't. Uh, I need to get, yeah, this. So let's just grab the panel first. I didn't save the hand truck. So I should have uh, put that in the van with me instead, but it's fine. Uh, we're going to place the security panel right here next to the door. Seems like a fine place for it. Maybe uh, slightly over would be better, like right there. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the hand cart. And we're going to want to go all the way over to here. Now, I, I don't know whether or not these things are necessary for this business. Okay, because I've never done the security stuff before. So it's possible that the, you know, the, the panels and stuff that go by the door, it's possible that those aren't required for this um, because it's this, a different kind of store, right? However, if they're not going to help at all or if they don't do anything for this business, we can always just take them out and bring them to the other one. So it's not a waste of money. Uh, we're going to be able to use it. Uh, let's put the security sign. Ideally, I want to put it on the outside, right? Uh, does it let me do that? Whoa. Hey, does it let me do that? Is that on the outside of the building? Oh, it won't let me click it though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just go security right there. I guess we'll put it right there. Uh, and then the last thing is the camera and the dome camera. I want that to be over here. I want this to be like checking out and, and monitoring this whole area right here. So you can see why I chose the dome. It means I don't have to put it all against the wall, which is fine. Actually for this location, the dome would have been fine, I guess, or on the wall would have been fine. And maybe it has more range too. I don't know. No idea. Uh, we're going to put it right here. So we now have a dome camera above all the employees. And so like, they're not going to take anything out of the till or anything like that. Uh, real quick, let me just clean this place up. But that's that's going to do it for my video today, guys. Uh, I think we're, I think we made a lot of good progress here. We got a lot of, a lot of mess to clean up. So I'm just going to let the profits roll in, and we'll just keep reinvesting in our hot dog burger business. Eventually, expanding out to things like fries and salad and just all sorts of things. Right? We may need to remove some of these tables. It doesn't look like they're ever going to be very full. So if we need to, you know, back them up a little bit to make more room for the pizza ovens, right? And things like that. Uh, absolutely. We're going to want to do that. We have an extra trash bin in case this is not sufficient. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, we're, we're, we're looking pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to upgrade is the walls and floors, right? That's got to be the next thing. It's the thing that everybody is talking about is the walls and floors. So we're going to work on those next. But we've got things in place now to where I don't have to manage the inside like that. I don't have to go in and, and be on the register. And that's where things start to get more interesting. All right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you'll come back and join me for the next one. Bye-bye.